Hi everyone, uh, I will be discussing about the risk assessment project which is a functionality that was originally released in November last year and now we have introduced some improvements in the overall assessment project workflow. I'll be covering it end to end as in what we released in November along with the February improvement updates. If you recall, until November, we only supported the individual risk assessment. However, one of the major feedback from the customers was that uh, for the risk assessments, they may take a brainstorming approach where the idea is that a lot of stakeholders gather and perform risk assessments in a workshop style manner. So for that, before I jump into the demo, I want to quickly cover the workflow with regards to the project. The first step is to define the project itself. So defining the context, the details uh, about the entity that you are going to assess, what methodology that you are going to use. We have a certain project name and also defining the stakeholders who are actually involved in that assessment, whether it would be the people in the room or you know the entity owners, the risk assessors, all those stakeholders. And then finally also defining some of the risk assessment details so that you can provide a reason and justification in terms you want to do a reassessment. This will be used for the reporting purposes. Then moving on to scoping, this is where with the regards to the risk in terms of understanding what risk are you going to pull into the project so there could be the risk associated to the entity you can also pull some of the risk from the risk statement library and you can add some ad hoc risk as well for the risk project when you are done with the scoping then you move to the to the risk assessment now this is where the users can use the smart assessment engine which is a new experience and then finally you can view the summary and also send it off for the approval. Now for approval, there can be a rejection as well. There may be some details, additional details that may be asked. Again, go through the assessment steps again and then finally move it for approval. And then after the approval, you can close the project. So that's our overall work for risk assessment project. Now let's get into our demo. All right, so right now I'm logged in as Andrew Taylor, who is the risk manager and in risk workspace, you can look at risk assessment projects so right now i'm in progress risk assessments projects so these are the records created for risk assessment projects as you can see there are project created against the accessible entities now these are the entities you can have individual entity as well as a composite entity as well in case you want to create a project for a composite entity now let's open one of the risk assessment project to look at the details captured there so first step as i mentioned in the briefing uh, is for defining this is where you define the context about the project as in what entity you are going to assess as part of this particular project what will be the risk assessment methodology for the details on the name of the project this is auto generated name you can change the name as well and then on the stakeholders who will be the assessor who will be the owner and further defining on the watch list then comes the scoping part this is where for the entity you select the risk that you want to map to a particular project so i have identified these risks which are in the scope for this particular project as i said the risk associated with the entity will auto flow you can also add the risk from the risk statements or you can add any ad hoc risk as well now once you are done scoping the next part is on assessment so this is the view i was talking about where you are using the smart assessment view for assessing the risk tag to a risk assessment project you you see multiple risk here as soon as you select one of the risk you you can provide your values here uh, for different factors captured for that particular risk assessment methodology on the right hand side you can will also be provided with the contextual information or reference information for that particular risk as in what is risk all about what is the hierarchy if there is any previous risk assessment performed what were the results and the appetite and tolerance defined for that particular risk so you do perform assessment factor by factor you can scroll between the factors the moment you click on next you will move on to the next factor once you are done with one of the risk you move on to the next risk start performing the assessment on that particular risk you can move backward forward any number of times while performing the risk assessment and at any given time you can also click on this particular button view summary here and you will be provided with a nice sum of all the risks that are in scope for this particular risk assessment project what was the inherent what was the control effectiveness whether it's a key control residual risk if there is a trend what is the target risk and the appetite status 
So the entire submit here. Once you are done over here, you submit the assessment for this particular risk assessment project. Once submitted, it will be sent for the approval for the risk assessment project owner. And once approved, you can close this particular risk assessment project. Now in Yokohama, we have introduced some of the new features as an improvement for risk assessment project. So if I go back into the list, this is where now you can select multiple risk in one go and you can re reassign the assessor. So if you feel that the assessor uh, is, is not there to respond to a risk assessment project or there is any other circumstances which means to uh, change the assessor, you can select multiple risk in one go and you can reassign the assessor there. Not only that, you can also uh, reassess a risk assessment project. So for the risk assessment projects which are completed already, you can now go in and you can reassess those risk assessment project. The moment you select on reassess, uh, it will be asked that what is the reason for its reassessment, whether it is a change in risk posture or is it reassignment due to external trigger or there can be other reasons as well. So you define the, that particular reassessment reason and then you initiate the reassessment. Again, as we have the feature of copying the previous uh, assessment results, same is with the risk assessment project, you can copy the previous assessment results while performing a reassessment for the risk assessment project. So that feature is there with uh, the risk assessment projects as well. So those are the details I wanted to cover on risk assessment project. In case you have any question, please write back to us.